Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we've got our Losi XXL2E 1/8 scale monster truck uh, back in the workshop here. Uh, we've we've just been having issues with the drive line and um, finally figured out why. So um, you can see here the the dog bone just barely engaging at the the uh, the. Uh, outside of the drive cup here and during our last round I, I found out why you, you see how I can actually wiggle it back and forth here um, you can actually see get it to focus here that the that the edge of the the diff um, the diff bulkhead here this this part is actually removable you can actually notice it sliding back and forth ever so slightly there and the reason why that's happening is you'll notice also a gap right here and that was because we forgot to put in this metal piece here um, in front of the the bulkheads there uh, don't know what exactly it's called some sort of metal retainer piece uh, so we're going to have to do a tear down of the front of this to get that back in there, but at least this will solve our issue of the, um, the center drive line, the front center drive line always popping out. So, uh, you know, good thing is that we were not running this thing full bore. So let me see if I can get in here. I might have to remove the the wheel here. Oh, looks like I can probably just get at it. Uh, I'll probably take that off. So, um, just to make our lives easier, take off the front wheel here. Hopefully that will be the end of our drive line woes. I'm just gonna get our makeshift car stand under here. And again, it's kind of ironic about this all is that that uh, the bulkhead, the drive shaft bulkhead, probably originally failed, if you'll recall in a couple of of previous episodes it probably originally failed because the previous owner forgot to install plastic piece here that guy right there and we forgot to install a metal plate here so a little bit of irony in that but again the low C XXL2E is just extremely well built, but it is fairly complicated because of all these various reinforcements and just the complexity of assembly here. If you if you compare it with you know one of our other A scale monster trucks that are based on buggies, right? Um, like the MT4 G3 from Thunder Tiger, the Arma Creighton, right? They're just a much more, much simpler design because of that buggy, truggy layout and just, you know, one single flat plan versus the multi-plane chassis here. Looks like I'm going to have to remove some more screws here. Off the bottom to get some more light in here. All right, so to get off that front bumper, we'll have to take off some screws off the bottom here. Let's 
these two screws should do it. All right, so the front bumper's off. There you go. I'll just put the truck like this so you guys can see here. And the four screws off the front of this truck. Off the bulkhead retainer. And hopefully this will solve the problems that we've had with the center drive line popping out of the, um, the diff cup, the dog bone popping out of the diff cup. So again, you know, really important when you first get a vehicle on the road, you, know, you don't want to run it at 100%, right? And just, you don't want to go all crazy right when you get something on the road because chances are, you will have to debug a little bit and there will be things that um, you forgot to do. So before you get something or, you know, it takes a couple runs to get a new car truck fully dialed in. So, you know, take it easy, be very attentive. You know, we, we heard some odd sounds when that, that, uh, that drive shaft popped out of that div cup. So definitely you want to be aware of the vehicle and just extra sensitive for the things that may be going on. So again, you know, it was these retainers weren't being fully seated there against the diff. So, uh, you know, I was causing some fore and aft movement, which putting this piece in, should fix. So I just want to wipe this down a little bit and we'll go ahead and uh, reassemble this truck and get it back on the road and hopefully get some running footage to you guys. But again, it was this piece that we were missing. Snap that back in there. And We'll go ahead and get this truck reassembled. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you guys are enjoying this series on this XXL2E from Losi. And we'll see you next time.